at the cloisters seems to be the place that you'd stay if you're a couple maybe um, or uh, friends traveling. It's kind of a more refined area, I would say, as opposed to the beach club, which is really focused on families. It's got great things for the kids to do. There's the bowling alley and the arcade all right there. They've got, you know, easy food options at the pubs for the family and and then the whole area for the kids just to run around. So I would say the beach club really is focused on the families, wouldn't you? More families and kids. Yeah. 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 And By a the great way, the place to bring the kids. A the kids can place. live in they, the arcade. And they could just play and play and play and play and play. Yeah. Because it's all free play the whole time. Yeah. You don't have to worry about giving them a hundred dollar bill to to go uh, play games. Yeah. In the morning, we popped over to the Cloisters to have um, their complimentary coffee and danishes, and we were able to sit in the atrium. They also have uh, free newspapers, New York Times, USA Today, so if you like to get caught up on your papers, you can do that while you're there. The atrium's this beautiful spot, birds singing, beautiful pictures, the ceiling's amazing, and um, it's a really great place to sit together and figure out what you're gonna do for the day. Hello. Hey. Hey, I've been reading all about Sea Island and the founder. Why don't you come over and oh, cool. sit down and let's, um, let me tell you what I found out. It's, okay. it's really cool history. Cool. Cool. Tell me. Yeah. So Sea Island was founded by a guy named Howard E. Coffin, and he was actually born in 1873 okay. in Milton, Ohio as a Quaker. His family was from Nantucket, and then he was a Quaker, and he was born in Milton, Ohio. And apparently, he was one of the first developers of a combustion engine when the automobiles were just coming about, and that made him and his family millions of dollars. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so in um, around 1915 or so, he actually founded the Sea Island Company, and the Sea Island Company is the result of everything that we see here. Wow, yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful here, it's amazing. Um, what I really like about it is it seems to be like um, old Georgia Southern hospitality. This is a place where you can come back in time and um, relax here and understand what Southern hospitality was like. Must have been amazing back then. Yeah, I bet you it was incredible. That would be really cool. And apparently all the presidents have been here and have planted trees on this property. Oh yeah, I saw pictures inside with the yeah. presidents planting trees. Yeah. Oh, what an odd thing, right? Yeah, like all the way from Calvin Coolidge to Hoover to, you know, Carter and then the Bushes and on. Like it's every, it must be a tradition here that they come here and do this. Oh, right, very cool. I saw a queen maybe too. Uh, yeah. Queen of Nigeria or something? No, the Netherlands. Netherlands? I don't know, it was in. The queen, queen of, of the, the inn. Netherlands um, was here and also did that at one point. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, so um, I also discovered a little bit about the marshes we were just looking at. Okay. And apparently the grass out there is called cord grass. And it's kind of like what grows in, grows in the sand dunes, the sea oats and the sand dunes. Oh, right. It's sort of similar, and it says it has this roots that spread out, and those roots then um, are the things that allow the um, oysters and the shrimp and everything else to make its homes in there, and it keeps the stable. They said that on the Georgia coastline, there's 100 miles of coastline, but there's almost a half a million acres of these sea marshes, so, and they're very salty. Salty sea marshes. They're like salt water. And the grass grows in that. And the grass grows in that about three feet high, they say, is the is the thing. Wow. And that's what gives that beautiful things. And the tide that we can see goes up and down like eight feet a day. In the in, marsh. In the marshes. Oh, very cool. Yeah, super cool. Huh. Good. So that's a little bit about the history of what I found out. <laughs>